Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys under the lights on Sunday night. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Just ahead, we'll decide the second entrance in next week's NFC title game. And we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. And when you review his performance last week in the game in total, I think that he understands and his team understands they were fortunate to get out there with a victory because he was a little tentative out there and didn't throw a touchdown pass. And if I'm this defense that he's facing in this one... He's got a man complete! Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this division round matchup. So, wow. I mean, that'll quiet this crowd, right? A big one there on the opening drive of the game. Yeah, you have to be thinking, we're at home for the playoffs. That had to be a splash of cold water right in their face, don't you think? Yeah, they got to be thinking, we're going to have to work on this and do so in a hurry. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. And able to get this out to the 25. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And it wasn't really his best performance of the year in the wild card round last week. He just had the one touchdown pass, but he got the job done and his team advanced. For them to continue on to the championship round, though, and he's going to need to take a few more chances with the ball downfield, push it a little bit more, and make sure his team finds its way into the end zone a few more times. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the tackle, defense. So, Charles, this a defense that hasn't made a lot of mistakes like this on the road to this playoff matchup, but that a bad one there. Yeah, you definitely want to rattle and shake up the other quarterback, but you know you've got to do it the right way. Otherwise, that clock's going to be on the ground. And he'll be taken down before he gets into enemy territory. Over 100 catches in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch in these playoffs. The first carry now for Tony Pollard, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Well, as you can see, they're not operating at full health today, partner. That's been a big story the last couple of weeks. But the bottom line, their record is solid, and you know that this is still a very dangerous team, even with those guys missing. What they have shown us throughout this season is that this team has stayed focused and some injuries. They're just not going to derail the momentum they've built up all season long. They continue to go out there and play and give their best performances. On third and short, this is Janovich. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. 
From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and six. Prescott on play action. Throw complete right side to Coles. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 18. And give him 14 yards that time and a fresh shut of downs. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. Left side the lamb. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond, as you just noted. Second and goal from the one. On play action, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Luke Schoonmaker, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Cowboys respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Throwing his Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now Prescott. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, he's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. 23 yards, the pick up there. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. A oh, heck of a move. Man. They'll get this down to the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. 
But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. And this one is right down Broadway. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. the ground this is Rashad Penny and he's across the 45 it'll be second down I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry he wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole ended up only getting four yards on the carry I think he had designs on that one being bigger he's going deep for Brown and a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Hurts. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and ten. Now a first and ten at the 11. From the gun, a give to Penny. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Ten-seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Heavy set out there on third and one. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll try to run for it with Penny. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Rashad Penny taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are able to move back in front. On third down and short, and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations, but there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet? They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is now 14-10. to Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down to the kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They go back to Pollard on second down. 
And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Off the play fake, Prescott sliding out of the pocket. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Pollard, he'll take it up the gun. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. And they pick it up rather easily. A gain of nine on fourth and two. Play action now, Prescott. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And just three yards on the catch there, he couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 26. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. This offense ready for their upcoming series as we get a look at the former Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, he's a big-time receiver in this league, so the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guys trying to cover him. They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far, and, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing, because right now it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that will slow him down. Now, this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Burt sets up to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Holding offense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, it's Hurts. This is Smith with the ground. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. In the wild card game last week, he had four catches, and now he has his fourth catch here. 
So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And is a 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. They go play action with Hurts. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he is caught. They'll have the first down, and more than that, touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles had six to their lead. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Now inside the 25. C.D. Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb. 73 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Aubrey good with a PAT. And it's now 21-17. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. It's Devontae Smith and the Eagles ready to go on offense. He might be on his way to a record-setting performance. So good here. We're only in the second quarter. And it's so interesting when we watch these types of days unfold for a receiver because they need a quarterback to hunt it accurately, people to block for the quarterback, so many other variables. But boy, he's getting it done and in a big way. Right now, he wants to rock on every snap. Yeah, he's counting his yards in the hundreds, not the tens. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw here. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. It's caught, Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught at the 30. 
A big play there for Philly. And even 40 yards. What a game he's having. They've not been able to stop him or even slow him down. He's got two touchdowns already. That could have been a third. He's got the secondary coach asking people for answers. Can you help me out? Because we are not slowing him down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Now he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. The kick by Elliott is good, and they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Powering his way forward. Running room at the 50. Look out. He might score. He will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's been a back and forth game. A lot of points on the board. And that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's going. Well, you've seen both teams go at it. And as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Aubrey now for the point after. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. But first down, Hurts. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia! A.J. Brown, 75 yards. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use than that. Man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. They'll throw again. Prescott. 
And that one to the right side and incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for them, all things considered. And this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going, and that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback. That's Jalen Hurts. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. It's amazing how much advice defensive players get on third down. You hear the bench screaming out, watch the draw, watch the screen, watch the pass here. Very rarely did they reference watching the fullback, and he slipped through and picked up a first down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Prescott throwing over the middle and it's incomplete and I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that that's a ball he had a chance to come away with but it winds up an incomplete pass on third down it's Prescott pass to the sideline and pulled in but he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Another carry for the fullback, Janovich. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On first and 10, Prescott. Looking left side, and it's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on all. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! C.D. Lamb. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have got it back to within a score. 
Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey, and the lead is down to a field goal. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. They go again with Scott. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Hurts. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. On the carry, this is Scott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Hands to the up man. This is Watt. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Now a second and ten. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Going for it all. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Elliott good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, CeeDee Lamb at wide receivers, he brings out this offense. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he is really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there's certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. Never want to give up a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. Wow, that's a really big game. 
Second down, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Back him down at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. The fullback Janovich on the handoff. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defensive coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Throwing. Prescott. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think is going to get the ball and where you think the ball is going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it, and on that play he did, so you've got to steal yourself at that point because the contact is going to be strong. This offense ready for their upcoming series as we get a look at the former Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so Switch we don't have to jerseys. cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thought. Gives to the first man through. Why? And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They go with Watt again, the fullback. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 44-yard line, here's second and a yard. All the option left, it's Hurts. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding offense. Brutal. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They go play action with Hertz. Rolling to his left. Powerful running. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Give him nine on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Try to power it ahead with one. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. Defense. 
So they'll, of course, decline the pass interference there and wisely take the yardage. And I think defensively he's saying, I was getting away with that in the first half. Why are you making that call now? Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. And out now come the Cowboys. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. A time to see what this offense has left in the tank. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Now Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The Cowboys on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and five. Prescott to throw it. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And now first downs are key. They want to keep that clock moving up by two scores as they try to cement their place in the conference championship round in one week's time. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Play action. Here's Hurts. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Hurts. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. But now Dallas gets set to take the field. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Looking to throw. Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A Cowboy first down there. Prescott to Gallup. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. They run it with Janovich, the fullback. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Prescott now from the 50. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Now a handoff to the fullback, Janovich. And he stopped immediately there. Reed Blankenship delivering the hit. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the 42-yard line. Prescott now on second down. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. From the red zone now, Prescott. Touchdown! Brandon Cooks. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Aubrey good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And right now, they're just looking for a little more cushion, trying to make this a two-score game. Points here would go a long way, obviously, to propelling them into the next round. And this is where the head coach, offense coordinator, they've had to set a tone all year long about what they do on offense. So most teams want to stay in attack mode, but you have to do it with some bit of caution, don't you? Because you can't come away with no points. You need these points here in order to feel a lot better about where they are in this game. But this time of the year, playoffs, game of this magnitude, this is what we hope for. Yeah, it's exactly what we hope for. You want to run your offense cautiously, but not so cautiously that you just give it up. In motion right is Smith. Another carry in the game for the fullback one. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Saw the linebacker, Damone Clark, coming through with a stop. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Second down, here's Hurts. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Parsons in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. On the carry, it's wide. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 
Now Watt. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll give this one to Watt. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. On the give, this is their fullback. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. It'll go as a gain of nine, and that should write an ending to this one. They go down to a knee, and with that, they're off to the NFC title game. So they file for the exits here in silence. And what a job to come in on the road, divisional round of the playoffs, and you get to end it by going down to a knee. Now their confidence has to be at an extreme high. That's two weeks in a row they've gone on the road and gotten it done. They don't care where they go. From here on out, they think they can beat anyone. Well, one side moves on, and then, of course, there's the other side, and now they face what they don't want to face, and that's the offseason. Think about the journey just getting to this game. Preseason, right? The OTAs and mini camps before that. Going through the regular season, fighting and scratching and clawing to make it to the playoffs, and then to get to this game, one game short of a conference championship, they'll have the whole offseason to think about it. Let's see if they use it as motivation. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.